Hey folks, Sturge here, playing Mickey Hennessy, the old, right here in Edgeville. I'm gonna do a quick money-making guide. And you're saying, oh no, not another money-making guide from this guy, but I'm actually gonna cover a, a topic that uh, in all the money-making guides I've seen, no one covers, and it's flipping from the stores, going to the stores and buying things. I did that in my other video, uh, where I demonstrated if you're a free-to-play player, you get uh, you can make a hundred and ten thousand coins in or at least more than a hundred thousand coins in roughly you know 15 20 minutes just flipping some stuff that you buy from the stores and right now fire runes are over a hundred coins a piece they're at 101 uh, which makes them you know worth a ton and you can get 7200 of them from the stores so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you how to do that but first, I notice I have a piece of coal here, and I'm also wearing my explorer's ring. I want to not have anything on me uh, when I start, so let's just uh, let's get rid of that stuff, and then we'll start this thing. Okay, we're back. I had to deposit that stuff. All right, see what we have. Uh, I'm just going to carry the spot of your cape, my adamant dagger, and my boots of lightness, so I just, you know, I'm running running lean here. Also when I get killed in the wilderness, which is a general rule, I will get killed in the wilderness. Happens all the time. Um, I don't have to uh, worry about it. I'll keep all my items. That's the best part. Okay, so trick is go to Edgeville and this will be this is my my route as it were. Uh, usually get killed here in Edgeville just because or at the the wilderness, the deep wilderness because uh, well there are people just standing there waiting for you, usually, to kill. Hopefully we won't die. Uh, just carry that adamant knife, because it cuts through pretty quick. The webs. Uh, the last three times I came through here, I died. Uh, I almost made it through. The, the last two webs ran into somebody right about here. And uh, it was zipping past, and they started shooting me. Uh, and I got both webs cut before they killed me over here. So, that was pretty funny. You know, I'm not a PKer, uh, but I'm not I'm not going to feed the PKers either. I'm not going to give them anything worthwhile. Uh, those waves crashing loud. Uh, Alright, let's see. Yeah. And when you die in that route, you go right back to uh, uh, Edgefield, generally. So that's a, that's a pretty good one. Alright, so then we go, and we've got our, our banker here. So we're going to buy, go to our banker, and then we're going to buy from Lundale all of his fire roads. Oh, what did I but what I failed to mention is all you need is four hundred and eighty thousand coins to start this. That's a requirement. You're gonna need a couple of require uh, other quest requirements like monkey madness and you'll need to be able to get into um uh you like uh, a couple of other basic mini quests and stuff like that. But for the most part if you haven't done those quests it doesn't really matter because you're still gonna be able to get most of the fire runes that are available. So let me grab some money real quick. Okay, let's uh, talk to Loondale here. And we're going to buy all of his... Now look at the price on this. 17 coins. And they're worth 100. Uh, 101 coins apiece. We're going to buy all those. We're going to buy all the air runes. And since these sell for around 240 apiece, we're going to buy all the cosmics. That's kind of up and down on the, on the scale. Sometimes cosmics are worth it. Other times, not so much, but that's okay. So just make sure you, yeah, you got all the airs, all the fires, because airs are 32 coins a piece currently. All right, 45 coins a piece. That's great. Uh, I'm going to try to speed things up, but uh, we're going to go to, next we're going to go to Berthorpe and, uh, I'm sorry, not Berthorpe. Let's go do everything uh, on the top of the map, working our way down. We'll go Lunar. Berthorpe, uh, Low Wild, uh, then we'll go Varric, and so on and so forth, and we'll get through this, and you will be happy to know how it's all done, right? And this is going to be worth almost a million coins, actually, should be a little more than that, but this is the way to get your, your million every single day, go in the house, you will have had to have done this quest. Uh, let's see here, all those, all those, definitely all the soul runes, definitely all the astral runes. 
and uh, oops, see, yeah. and you'll be able to do this every 24 hours. And next up, we go to Birthorp. All right, over here at Birthorp, gonna run into the uh, little rune shop here and get our freebies as well. This is always a good one. Yep, always collect these. These actually regenerate about every 30 minutes or so. Maybe it's a little less than that. I always have to be cautious because uh, from time to time they switch the locations. Well, various stores have different locations for the fire and the air runes, and I accidentally buy earth runes, which is just silly. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, let's see, next up, we'll go low wild here in Edgeville. I think you have to do the... There's a quest to get to see this mage. It's one of the f really basic, you know, noob quests. Just so you can actually see this uh, Zami mage out here. Uh, we pick up the fires and we pick up uh, all the airs there. Usually it's not too dangerous. Level 5, 6, wild. You, you could get killed, I suppose, but I don't worry about it. Uh, because so few people are, are going to care uh, about you that point they want you to be in the deep wild where you have no escape next up we'll go to uh, Varric all right uh, we're over here in Varric we're gonna do the we're gonna go to Aubrey's get the uh, his free runes as well yeah that quest you have to do to get the Zami mages right there to get that low wild one it's really basic though not, not difficult so don't have to worry about that at all if uh, most people have probably already done that quest. Okay, so we pick up everything here. And then, like I said, I like to just start at the top and then work my way down uh, the map. So we've done Varric. And next up, we're going to go to Port Serum. And there are a couple of spots there. Here we are at Port Serum. I have a funny little routine that I do, just to, in preparation. I go in here, I grab the white apron. Uh, just so I can pick up a banana, because we are going to ape a uh, toll. And... We need, a, we need a banana to do that, teleport that. Obviously, you will have had to have done Monkey Madness to get um, to get to Ape at all. So, that's fine. No big deal. I also pick up this other apron. They sell for, I don't know, 100 coins a piece, so might as well pick them up while you're doing your, your daily run. And now you have a banana. And you don't have to wear the apron any longer. We're here at Betty's. Uh, this is one of the places I showed you in the other video to pick up all of the the runes here, and then you can pick up the wizard hats, uh, the blue and the black wizard hats. They, you can flip those. They they do pretty well. I mean, they're two coins a piece, and they usually sell for more than fifty. So that's that's definitely worth doing if you need the money. But I'm just going to stick with runes this time. Uh, next up, we're going to take the boat to pest control. Not too many more of the thousand rune shops remaining. All right, then next up, let's see where should we go next? I say we go to Yanil. You definitely have to have about sixty magic to get in here, and then I think you have to have completed at least one quest for these guys to get all these runes. See, this is where I get screwed up. I almost bought those uh, earth runes there, and I constantly check. We're at 5,900. I get all the soul runes as well. Those are definitely worth some some money, like 800 coins a piece, something like that. And now we're going to go to Alco. Do you need to do a mini quest here? I think it's two mini quests to talk to Al uh, Morisane. Is that his name? Yeah. And you've got to come over here and chat with him, but you, once you've done his little mini quests um, no not questions about the tomb whoops how's it going let's see what we got here you're gonna pick up first elemental runes it's only 300 but at 100 coins a piece it's quite a bit and then next up from him you're gonna pick up I believe he's got is it <clears throat> astrals uh, let's see he has soul runes and cosmic, not astral. All right, and we are at 6,200. We have a thousand more to go. There's only one place left, one place remaining, as they say. Okay, last up. Let's go to Ape, and uh, we'll get this done. 7,200 to work with. Land here. We're going 
Zombie monkey. He's very slow. I should have picked another one. Little zombie monkey. He's kind of cute, though. Oh, look, little zombie monkey. Kind of looks like a toy. Why, why are zombies uh, sort of turquoise? Green or something. Good. I don't know. Blue. Maybe they don't have any blood. That's why. But then in zombie movies, when you shoot them, blood comes out. So I don't get it. But zombie monkey, gree gree. I usually uh, use ninja monkey because he's a lot faster. And you go here to, uh, what's his name? Tub? Two tabs. Pick uh, his thousand. You don't have coins to buy a thousand. Whoa. What? Well, that's interesting. That never happens. 480,000 usually works. I missed it by 155. I've well, got to fix that. Alright, I went and picked up uh, another 5,000 coins. So, 485,000 coins is the amount you will need. And then, uh, and all you have to do from here is teleport back to your favorite Grand Exchange location. Okay, so we, uh, we did it. Uh, 485,000. And now we're going to sell these things. Alright, so let's see what we get. Sell fire runes. Let's do 100 coins apiece. There's your first 720. Done. Almost. What were these coming in? 45? I'm going to do 42. There's a million coins. Okay, not 42. Let me play this one. Yep, there's the first 7. Oop, no, not that. Not that. We'll go there. Let's go to 41. Not yet. Let's do... We got these for 232. It'll sell for more. Yep. That sold... Three, three, three. So not bad. We made a little bit of money. Not much there. These are great. Eight seventy-five. Go to seven eighty-nine. Let's see. Astrals. Those are two twenty a piece. These always sell well. Let's go a little lower. Let's go to seven eighty. Trying to make as much as you can here. Oh, <clears throat> well that was funny. I about to kill it and it sold at 41. Let's go to 775. Doesn't matter, we bought them for, you know, 300 something a piece. This isn't going to hurt us until we figure it out. Alright, 710. There it is. Okay. I might as well, while we're at it, we'll sell these guys 85 coins a piece, and they were free. Not that it matters that much. We have zero coins. Let's see how much we made. 1.4. We have 1.418 million. So 480,000, so we almost made a million coins. Just doing that. How do you like them apples? Next up, I'm going to uh, attach a little video on how to... Uh, flip feathers, just plain feathers, and make money doing that. So they'll get you more than a million a, uh, a day. Okie dokie, folks. Right here at the second part of the video, we're going to flip. Um, we're going to flip feathers, just basic feathers. We're in here in Lumbridge. We'll start in Lumbridge, and I'm going to pick up. I'm going to go to ten different shops and pick up a thousand feathers at each shop, and then we'll have our. Uh, We'll have our, it'll cost us 60,000. I brought 65,000 coins along just in case. Uh, and that'll probably sell for about 57 coins a piece when you buy them at six coins a piece. So we should make good money on this one. So without uh, screwing around, and I'm just going to do this fast uh, and try to get to each space and show you first one, second one, third one, so on and so forth. Try to just do it quick and maybe this will only take two or three minutes. It'll take you a little longer when you have to do it. And there are some requirements, but not too many. Again, just a few things. So first you go to the, uh, you go here to uh, Lumbridge and you get your thousand feathers here. Next up, we're here at Port Sarum again. And I'm gonna go here and chalk, chalk with Garant, or Gerant, however you pronounce his name, and buy all of his feathers. Okay, next up we're at Shanty Pass. And we're going to talk with the good old Shanty here. Take his 
thousand feathers. Okay, here we are at the Haunted Mansion in Draenor. You will have had to have done the, uh, the quest to help Ava uh, to get her. And I don't know if it's tiered or not after you do both quests. You have a couple things you have to do for her, but Ava's got a thousand as well. Next up, we're going to do Fishing Guild. In the Fishing Guild, you need 60 fishing to get into. That's pretty much the, uh, the requirement here. Our guy is actually in his place. Roche. Give me some feathers, Roche. A thousand here. Okay, here we are in Ooglog. We will have had to have done the quest to help these people out here. Talk to Fraud. Oops, sorry, we're just going to trade with Fraud here. And get the thousand. Bit of a requirement here, but and this quest is quite a bit of fun, but definitely worth doing to get the, the feathers later. Okay, folks, we're here at Ralka. I'm going to talk to the trade with the fishmonger. And I know that I'm pretty certain you have to do... I mean, you may be able to get these without doing the quests, the basic quests here. But uh, we're going to go to Miscellanea after this. And that's the reason I come here last, because I'm going to do uh, Misk, uh, etc. Next. And then we'll do Shiloh last. Okay, here we are in Miscellanea. I'm going to trade with the fishmonger here. Pick up his thousand. And then we'll go over to et, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, we're over here. Et, uh, et cetera, et cetera, if you want to be fancy. And we're going to pick up the thousand here. Next up, it's going to be Shiloh and we'll be done. Okay, uh, lastly, we're here in, uh, in Shiloh Village. And we're going to talk to the uh, fishing shop guy here. Pick up his thousand feathers. And that puts us at... Uh, Nope, 10,000 feathers. Let's go sell them. Alright, as you saw, we picked up 10,000 uh, just basic feathers from 10 different shops at 6 coins a piece, 65 grand. That's what it cost us. Let's see what we can sell them for. 54, let's go down to 50 and see what we get. 500 grand. We got 556,000 coins. So we just put that on top of the uh, million, or uh, almost million we made, 950,000 before, and that gives you 1.5 million profit for the day. Uh, it takes about uh, 45 minutes or so, but it's worth it. Uh, there you have it, folks. How to make a million coins in very short order, every single day. Ciao for now.